Excellencies, Secretary General of the ITU, Director of the Radio Communication Bureau, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is an honor for my administration, Australia, and our regional organization, the Asia Pacific Telecommunity, as well as a great privilege for me to have been chosen as chair of the Radio Communication Assembly for 2023. This assembly is of great importance for ITUR, for all who are involved in the development of radio technology, as well as all those around the world who benefit from radio services, including broadcasting, terrestrial and space communications, radio navigation, radio location, and radio astronomy. With this assembly, we finalized the study period that started in 2019 and will commence a new study cycle for the next four years. We all recognize that shortly after the assembly in 2019, the COVID pandemic swept the world and among other things, created challenges in conducting working party and study group meetings, as well as the research necessary to predict guest studies. Nevertheless, the study groups have been successful under difficult circumstances in carrying out their assigned work, including the studies for WRC 23 and in developing technical standards for emerging radio technologies. Some ITUR recommendations developed during this study cycle need to be considered by the assembly purely for formal approval as they are incorporated by reference. We will also appoint new chairs and vice chairs for study groups, the RAG, the CPM, and CCV, as well as review the working methods of the sector. There has been significant effort within the RAG regarding proposals to improve working methods, and these proposals are ready for consideration at this meeting with contributions submitted from administrations. There are also other ITUR resolutions to be updated and proposals for new resolutions to address the rapid changes in the global telecommunication environment. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of work to do during the next five days to complete all these tasks. I would encourage everyone to approach the discussion in a cooperative manner so that consensus can be reached for all the issues we have on the table. I would also ask that you work efficiently, keeping interventions short and making your proposals very clear. Finally, I promise to do my best as chair so that together we can make the necessary decisions to set a bright future for the next four years of the ITUR. Thank you very much for your attention.